Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to the channel. What's your set of a day or set of a night? Drop your comment down below. Before the video starts, thank you to my good friend, Steven from the channel Red Lessons. I'll leave his YouTube channel down below. Definitely check him out, his amazing fragrance content. He was very kind enough to let me borrow this new release fragrance. So thank you, Steven, in advance. The house of Matt Sarah is called Concept Pepper. So this is a 2023 release, but I just got my hands on it. So it's pretty new. And this video here, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it, how it performs, what it smells similar to, and if you should buy it or sample it at the end of the day. Before I start, if you guys like Matt Sarah fragrances, what's your favorite Matt Sarah fragrance? Drop your comments down below. So I'm going to show you the presentation real quick. I don't have the bag or the box, so I do apologize. This is the bottle. All the Matt Sarah bottles are the same. It has the Matt Sarah logo up top, so you know it's Matt Sarah. And these are not screwable anymore. They're magnetic caps, which is pretty cool. I wish they still had the screwable ones. They were pretty cool to have as a collector's item where you'd worry about trying to magnetic cap, but it is what it is. So let's post the notes on the screen here real quick. Okay, so this is gonna run you $180 for a 120 ml bottle like this. They do have a smaller size, half the size of 60 ml is gonna run you $105 up to $108. I'll leave links down below where you can purchase this fragrance here at your local, I think it's Nima Marcus, and I think Saks have it, and so is uh, the Matt Sarah website. Right on test strip, I worn it three times. Spires are beast mode. We had no complaint with Matt Sarah fragrances. Okay. So this opens up, we're definitely getting some freshness. And the freshness is coming from the tangerine. Then you're definitely picking up some pepper in the fragrance as well. But this is not a heavy pepper scent. I think this is something that people think it is because of the name constant pepper. It's not. There's pepper in it, there's spices in it. But you're definitely picking up musk, picking up some woods. You're definitely picking up some lavender, you're getting a little bit of this resinous in it. I don't pick up oud or rose. They do list rose and oud. I don't pick up that combination at all. You pick up some tonka bean as well. Now, this fragrance here does remind me of another designer fragrance that's very popular on the market. And you guys know me. I smell a lot of fragrances in my day. Seven years, right? This smells very similar to Chanel Alorum Sport O Extreme. I have that fragrance. My bottle, sadly, is empty. But I remember that fragrance because it's very similar to this. Now, the only difference with this fragrance here is they don't have the mint, which is listed in Chanel Allure Sport or Extreme. And they don't have that aldehyde, like that Chanel signature DNA. Most Chanel fragrances have a little bit of aldehyde powderiness in it. This doesn't have it. This is more on the masculine side. And it does have other notes like taco bean. We have pepper. We have musk that is actually in Chanel Allure Sport or Extreme. So this is about 85 to 90% chanel alone sport extreme so if you have that fragrance this is probably redundant for you to buy if you don't have it and you want to try this out definitely try it out maybe if that bottle runs out you want to buy um the new niche version of it you can definitely check it out it doesn't have the mint or the aldehyde so it's more on the easier side to wear i feel like and it's not as slightly powdery as but definitely check it out now for the dry down you definitely pick it up more of the musk and you're definitely picking up a slight bit of this pepperiness in it. And you're getting some woods as well. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's not a complex scent where you have to think about it. It's very similar to that fragrance. You put them side by side. You can tell a difference, but it's the same type of DNA. Now I'm going to touch on the performance real quick. So keep in mind, I'm the one I'm wearing the fragrance. Nobody else has worn it. Not even my fiance, Kelly. So everybody's performance will vary differently when you buy this fragrance or sample it. Me personally, I get about an hour to two hours of moderate projection. It's about half an arm's length where people can catch wafts of it. Longevity for me personally, I'm getting about seven to eight hours. By that seven and a half to eight hour mark, it's really, really close to the skin. Almost like a, almost a dead skin scent where you really can't smell it as much, but it's slightly there. I did a compliment where this one at work. I was doing some paperwork. I had to give it to a driver. He had to sign the contract. And he said, man, you smell really good. What is that? So I let him um, smell this fragrance. And he's like, wow, you smell awesome, bro. Because I sprayed a little bit on my neck and on my shirt. He's like, wow, man, whatever you have, one smells really good. So I gave him the link. And he said he's going to buy himself a bottle very soon. So this can be a compliment of fragrance, just like Chanel Lauren Sport Extreme. But I don't think you need it if you have the original Chanel Lauren Sport Oh, extreme.
seasons real quick. This is all year round versatile scent. You can wear it in the warmer months, so it's the colder months. It is what it is. Occasion, you can wear it dressed up or dressed down. I feel like it's more of a casual scent. I don't think it's more of a occasion type of fragrance or special occasion, but to each its own, you can definitely reach for it and wear it whenever you want. Ratings and final thoughts. So for me personally, I'm gonna give this a five out of 10. It's average. It smells like something else in the designer game. So it's nothing unique. And if you have that fragrance, I wouldn't recommend buying it. I wouldn't even buy it. I would rather buy a backup bottle of Chanel Laurent Sport Oh, Extreme personally to me. But try it out for yourself. You might think differently. You might love it more than Chanel Alorn Sport O Extreme. At the end of the day, I think it's a good release. It's nothing groundbreaking. You smelled this before. I'm surprised Matt Sarah went down this route. But hey, at the end of the day, company didn't make money. So if they want to borrow some other type of fragrance notes or make fragrance similar to other fragrances, whatever you got to do to stay in business, it is what it is. If you guys tried any fragrance from Matt Sarah, drop your comment down below. What are your favorite ones to wear? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.